Welcome back to Black News Tonight. We are here talking once again about the case of Bill Cosby. As you know, he was released to most people's surprise yesterday, uh, walking out of a Pennsylvania state prison uh, because of a very interesting development in his case. And yesterday, many celebrities chimed in on social media. One of TV's most well-known judges, Judge Joe Brown, was one of those people who called out the way that mainstream media had been covering the story. Hours ago, he, he tweeted, and, and to be clear, he, much of this was in response to something I wrote, but he said, anyone who was knowledgeable of American law would have expected and predicted the outcome of the Cosby appeal. Mainstream media in Hollywood incite public disorder by lying to the people about the law and encouraging mob rule. Hollywood reacts to Bill Cosby release with shock. Here to discuss his recent comments, joining me now is Judge Joe Brown. Judge, thank you for joining me. Why do you say that mainstream media encourages mob rule? I've talked to 43 lawyers around the country, 17 judges, and I haven't found one that was shocked by the verdict. Most saw the same thing that I did from day one. This never should have gone to trial. It's a travesty. It's a violation of due process in American law. It is part of this mess that mainstream media is trying to feed into the heads of the citizenry and poison them by saying that their emotions and their feelings are supposed to have paramountcy over what happens within the law. That's not the way it goes. I get people who never even took what they should have gotten in the fourth and fifth grade get to talking about how somebody going to disprove what these women accused Dr. Cosby of. And the truth of the matter is you don't have to. They have to prove that what they claim is true, not the other way around. That's American law. I see too much of this show up on the courthouse, voice your opinion, and get the courts to yield to what you believe. That's not the way the law works. That's called mob rule, mob justice. And if you want a more egregious exemplar, take what happened to Emmett Till and every other black man that's been lynched in the history of this country because somebody got emotional and decided to suborn the law, go around it, and do what their emotions drove them to do. So that so, is the way things so ought judge to be. Law separates us from the animals, and we can't be having, we can't have this disregard of the law. I want to commend this Howard Dean for being forthright enough to speak out on what the reality is, and I would suggest that they need to strengthen the breadth requirements at Howard University so I don't see such ignorance coming out of this profoundly historic black university. My father went there way back in the 40s. Well, Judge, there's, there's, there's two things going on at once, though, Judge. that I have heard come out of that place lately. And if anybody so, Judge, I think there's two things happening at once. Justice, they are too. So, so, Judge, I think there's two things happening at once here. And I, and I think, on the one hand, many of us are legitimately aware, and my, myself included, uh, that the criminal legal system doesn't give equal outcomes to everybody, that black folk catch the worst end of this, that black men, uh, when it comes to incarceration, get the absolute worst end of this. And the Bill Cosby case is an example of a prosecutor who was dishonest. Bill Cosby, absolutely, if he's told that you won't be prosecuted for giving this, this deposition and then he gets prosecuted, that is a violation of his rights and that is a violation of due process. Of course it is. On the violation other hand, due process. But on the, Right. The but but hold on, let me, just let me finish this point, Judge. On going forward should be disciplined. So there's that. It but then there's the effort. other question that people... Have. So then there's this other question that people, though, have, Judge, which is a legal question. I mean, which is not a legal question. I think those two things, to some extent, are getting mixed up. And the non-legal question is about whether or not Bill Cosby actually did harm. Legally, you can say he's not guilty he because anything. the not guilty stands... In he didn't do anything. American <laughs> law... There is an absolute presumption of innocence until you are proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt using due process of law. If there was no due process of law, that presumption of innocence does not remove itself and there is no valid conviction. If there is no valid conviction, that presumption of innocence stands as a rock 
for yes. the defendant. It, 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 the, it is to keep the government so, from so, acting in a dishonest fashion and using its powers for persecution. So, Dr. Yeah. Cosby so I think we're on the same page with that. Guilty through due process, he hasn't done anything. So, under American law, the accusations are just that. They carry no weight other than accusations, and they must be proven using due process beyond a reasonable doubt. If they have not been, then they are essentially worthless, just so much talk. That's so so I think we're on the same page. So I think we're on the same page with regard to the law. I think part of the challenge, and I sent out a tweet last night that you responded to. I'm going to pull it up. It says, I said, Bill Cosby is not innocent. He has not been exonerated. His release means that Cosby, a sexual predator, was incarcerated within a criminal legal system that has as little regard for its own rules and procedures as does Cosby for his victims. And you responded, he have you to said, be uh, he hasn't had any law is a baseless accusation. It has no right. Way. No, you, so under the law, I think we're on the same it's page a, again. But part American of the problem, law, part of the problem is in the fourth and fifth grade, not law school. American law means when somebody <laughs> makes an accusation, that's all it is. It has no weight. If there's probable cause, you have somebody answer the complaint. But if you cannot find someone guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, they have done nothing. They walk out no, of there with again. their presumption of innocence intact. How clear can that be? There is nothing no, I to think answer. That, I think that, he had a right to remain I think that part is clear. No, I, I, I think that part is clear, Judge. Let, let, let me just let me just let me let me move the conversation the forward. Though. Proving his guilt, it did not. So he stands. Right. So I guess what, what right. So what what I what I want to do is just move the conversation up a little bit. I think you and I agree that legally he's not guilty. That legally he doesn't have any burden of proof. The state does, and it hasn't met that legally. His rights his rights were violated. We're on the same page about that. This I I'm saying the legal question to me is rock solid. But I think what was happening yesterday was people were conflating those two things. They were acting as if because the state didn't meet its burden and because he was uh, released based on the fact that he didn't get due process, his due process rights were violated, that that was somehow proof of the belief that many people had that Cosby was actually uh, not just uh, well, legally not guilty, but actually didn't do anything at the moral and English. ethical level. And, 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 hold, hold on one second. Go, 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 I, I just, just want to I want to place. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no, no, hold on. Let me, let me place the question to you. So I guess what I'm saying is, can we hold space for two ideas at the same time? Can someone under the eyes of the law be completely not guilty? And at the same time, can we have a public conversation? Because I know you talk about culture. You talk about our community. You talk about values. Can we also talk about the fact that someone can be doing great harm and even be a predator at the same time that legally they're all the things you just said? No because the law presumes them innocent until you prove them guilty. It is a specious thing. That's part of this new paradigm where everybody gets a trophy, a participation ribbon. Nobody's feelings get hurt. Freedom of speech gets restricted if somebody feels uncomfortable or undelighted by what is being said. That's not our reality. So, so let, me ask you, let me ask you a question. When, when George Zimmerman killed Trayvon Martin, and the jury found him not guilty. Are, do you feel that the, the black community should not have continued to express outrage and call George Zimmerman a killer because under the law he was innocent? They should express outrage with themselves for lacking such political influence in the selection of the district attorney or in the even weight assigned to them. See, the rules are the same. But from my perspective, I think of all the black folk that have called me over the last 35 of jury service, all of the black folk that voted a handout where you've got a racist idiot on that handout for judge and they don't even pay attention to who's on the ballot. I think of all of the black folk who don't go out and vote for sheriff or effectively for mayor or for the district attorney and complain about it. See, when you have an opportunity to do something about it, do it. And see, most of the people that are off in the penitentiaries are not in there for playing Robin Hood. They rob from their neighbors, burglarize their neighbors, kill their neighbors, rape their neighbors, sold poison to their neighbors. 
And the other thing is, it's not guns. It's not any excuse. It's we have got a lack of manhood and masculinity in our neighborhoods. See, masculinity is the imposition of a set of behavioral standards on a boy. So when the boy grows into a man, he has some things he has to do that he cannot get away with that he is compelled to look to, making where he lives a better, safer, more secure place filled with economic prosperity, sense of purpose, morality, and ethics. He is a man of public peace, dignity, and order, who is a man of peace, who can be a brave and courageous man when necessary. See, we have to start uh, taking Judge, let me pause you for a minute. Back. We're going to take a... Judge, we, I, I want to okay. hear more about that, Judge. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to take a quick break. I'm bringing you right back. We're gonna, I'm going to push you on some of those things as well. Stay with me. We've got more Black News tonight coming up right after this. Welcome back to Black News Tonight. We're talking Bill Cosby in the aftermath of his case. I'm here with Judge Joe Brown. Judge, again, early in the conversation, we, we sort of stipulated to the legal parts of this, and we both agree uh, that everyone deserves the right to due process, and no one should be sitting in prison or jail for something that they either didn't do or if their rights are violated, or both. Um, but you've also raised this interesting question that I think is worth unpacking a bit, and that's about ethics and morality within the black community and holding each other accountable and talking about manhood and masculinity. If we, again, assuming Bill Cosby doesn't it, it, take the legal stuff off the table, if we look at the depositions, the very thing that got him ultimately, uh, the, 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 the thing that ultimately got him locked up, and those depositions, and he's talking about the, the, the various women he had sex with, with giving them alcohol and pills, whether it's Quaaludes or Benadryl. If you look at the dozens of women who come forward and accuse him, can, is there room to say, look, Bill Cosby can come home because the prosecutor was wrong, but Bill Cosby also has to be accountable for what he represents and for and acts of uh, and for predator-like behavior. What about these women again? being accountable for their own behavior? They were groupies. Well, you know, sex, drugs, rock and roll, sex, drugs, rap, sex, drugs, baseball, football, basketball, movies, television. See? Yeah, but, but, but right now I'm talking about Bill Cosby. I'm saying, we forgot what that term meant. Sex, drugs, rock and roll. The bimbos come to the party. Yeah. They hang out. They get drunk. They snort lines of blow, and they have a good time. Uh, they use the hall closets to give head the bathrooms to get down and you go in to get your coat off of the bed and they're laying on top of it doing somebody. See, that's what that's about. So, yeah, but, I but, mean, but just, not it, has be it has to be consensual, though. 30, 40, 50 years after something was in big time style, when this stuff started out, the sexual revolution was going on. And a lot of women well, got so, into so they, it they, deeply. Okay, but so, so there's two I things mean, you raised. The but first... Is, no, yes, but first, we, we, let's, let's talk about Bill Cosby. We, we can talk about the women, but let's talk about Bill Cosby. Let's talk about Bill Cosby for a second, because that's the, the person we're talking about. Is, I, my what question was, is there room to, to, to... What did he do? Well, according to the deposition, he gave women pills, and in one deposition, he, he specifically he said pills. he didn't he know didn't whether... Force it down he, their throat, no, let, let me and finish. He didn't take advantage of them. Well, Look at that interview Whoopi Goldberg did with that model Johnson. Whoopi got all so, on. So, so, wait a minute. You're trying to so tell hold on, me hold, that hold, hold, hold on, Judge, let me he ask found the question. out you were high, he called the cab, took the elevator down with you, put you in the cab, paid your fare, tipped the man, and sent you home because you were high? So what did he do so, to So, in one, in one deposition, so, so, Judge, in one deposition, specifically, when he was asked the question, uh, was, he sh was he sure that the woman was sober enough to consent? He said, I don't know. Um, but there's a there's a bigger question here is if you if someone willingly takes pills and becomes high and drunk, can they legally consent? Sometimes you can used to be you could. They had a change in there back 25 years ago when they were saying, no, you can't. But before that, basically, you could. That's why they told <laughs> right. you. So, but we're talking about the law. So. so so, so then, Judge, again, See, since you're saying we should appeal to the law, to be, if, if the law says that you can't be intoxication, where you did something to them they didn't consent to. See, that's right. when that law started Just, changing from you got yourself drunk, you are responsible to know the bartender's responsible because he lets you get drunk. 
That's when that change started Cosby, coming Bill about. Bill Cosby's admitting. Bill, Bill Cosby's admitting to giving women alcohol and pills for the purpose of having sex. And if by the law Most you can't consent if you're drink drunk a glass or, 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 or high, you go out to dinner or you have a party or something. So yeah, does but that's, that that's make not them the same. The qu- that, that's irrelevant, of judge. Because they do something they would have done anyway. A whole lot of them, I yes, mean, back in that's, the years, that's, that's take sexual drugs, assault, particularly Kualus, they did that a lot. I had a lot of female clients I had to get out of messes because they had a fondness for Kualus. It's not cool, yeah, but, but it's I mean, okay to take. don't you bear any responsibility for this, especially if you keep going no. back? So, 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 Judge, let, let, let me, let me. I want to lay this out plainly, just so, and I'll give you a chance to respond. I'll even give you the last word. Um, if you give someone drugs and alcohol, even if they want to take the drugs and alcohol, if they get to a point where they are inebriated, where they are high or drunk, you cannot have sex with them. It is not sex. It becomes rape. And even by the legal standard that you're saying we should appeal to. That's only the law in certain states. It's not for every state. And it goes into the same philosophy. It goes into the same thing. I didn't know I was going to get that drunk, so it ain't my fault. I got a DUI and kill somebody. How you think that's going to float? Right, but the difference is the Plus, drunk person has a responsibility to not. On the East Coast, who want the a drunk new person has a responsibility not rape. to get into the it's car. Called rape by the seduction. drunk person does not have a responsibility words, the not to get into the, the responsibility. And you decide to if have we're a talking good about meal, responsi- linen, candlelight, wine, responsibility. dine, you go for a walk in the park, my place or yours, get over there, kissy, kissy, poo, seduction, clothes come off, everybody has a good time. This crowd wants that to be called this isn't, everybody isn't having a good time one seduction. person's being assaulted right but what i'm saying judge nobody and, and i gotta see, run that's the uh, point he never admitted to what he did was accused of which is how many people unlawful. in your law admitted to what they did all that they were did guilty? was they asked you for it i supplied it they wanted it okay this, that's this like is put some candles on and some incense when we do it Let's go out and have no, a it, fine meal. Some Pinot on the wild. Giving some, some Cabernet is Sauvignon. Give, give, give it somebody. To go with the prime rib and the lobster. And then we, you know, after we leave the five star restaurant, we got a nice walk in the park. This, this honestly is, is, with all due respect, is the most disturbing interview I've ever had in my life. No, the, but see, you, you are into this thing where everybody's got to be protected. This society does not work when the society's obligation is to protect somebody from being stupid. You protect somebody's no, right. to protect somebody from being racist. We, we got to go there, their Joe discretion Brown. I, 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 We can have a conversation, but, but we, you I, can't I gotta protect run them from themselves. Way past commercial Just break. like you can't protect somebody I, I, from I, liability for killing someone in a fatal DUI because the bartender didn't stop I, I, I serving them Judge, when they kept asking. Unfortunately, I got to run with way past commercial break. I know you understand that. Uh, thank you for joining the show. Uh, let us know what you're thinking. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at BNC News. Uh, visit the website, bnc.tv. Coming up next.